those people decided we are going on some secret place and the other thing I'm scared of is like insect generally <laughs> Máš ho na hlavě. Like I did not feel comfortable with that guys. Hello guys, welcome to another video. Jacob here again from Vienna and this video is going to be like to be continued from the first part. It's like the culture place with those roller coasters and cards. And I told them I'm not joining any of those dangerous things ever in my life. When we went to visit Vienna in Austria, currently we are walking in the center of the city. Those people decided we are going on some secret place. I actually still don't know where are we going, but we are going to find out. But I really like the center of Vienna. It's really nice city. I can say like this, it's like a historic core of this place as you can see through the buildings and the structures and the statues right now we are heading to some garden and we are going through this gate and we will see what's going to happen There is a huge park or a huge garden. This, this area really reminds me of my childhood in a little bit different way because all those buildings and the structures which looks like a ladder. The thing which comes on my mind is like the game Assassin's Creed when those historic creatures and fighters and knights were climbing all over the buildings like it's nothing. So the fans of Assassin's Creed will understand me, what I mean. But right now we are standing here in front of this, I cannot pronounce it, but we are going inside. What's this place? Um, Smitterling, Schmitter. <laughs> it's like a um, butterfly house, it's a garden for butterflies. Oh, so it means butterflies lives here? Yes, there are butterflies who are taken care of. I'm very excited to see you. So let's see. go and not waste any time. But it's very expensive. <laughs> but they said three to five years old kids, so I'm a kid, so I think so. I will have six, four so. euros. They did not tell me it's like a butterfly house. We are going in and especially there are living butterflies. But we already have a ticket to go inside. From the previous video, if you haven't seen that, immediately go check that video, guys. It's pretty amazing when we were in the entertainment park. But I was scared of this attraction. And the other thing I'm scared of is like insect generally. <laughs> so if we are going to get into these gardens and some butterfly is going to land on my forehead, like, and I will kill it, and then I will pay some <laughs> penalty. I really don't know, but I hope they are not like dangerous, the butterflies, like, I believe they are not dangerous, but we will see. So right now we are going inside. Oh my god, it's amazing. It's amazing. And I cannot see any butterflies, so what the butterfly garden is that? There should be this kind of species. Like you can, you will not see it on the camera, but I can see it. Oh my gosh, there is one little. It's not little, it's huge. It's huge. Oh, it's on that. 
Máš ho na hlavě. Oh. <laughs> The water for likes you. <laughs> oh my god. Like I did not feel comfortable with that guys as you could hear before I don't like insect but they are not biting or anything here is one liter bro chilling it's beautiful it's beautiful there are another ones they are really alive and they are enjoying bananas with apples the moisture here inside is like very high, you can feel it, you can smell it. But I guess it's required because of all those plants and maybe because of the butterflies as well. It's really nice, they have just dining tables. Here is shown as well some kind of caterpillars. Of course caterpillars because before the butterfly will become a butterfly, it's a caterpillar. I've never been so close to a butterfly and I wonder that they are not scared of me. I'm not using any flashlight and anything, they could get scared. And you should not be using even. What's here? Here is like we are going inside of the tree. Area. Right, guys, and here you can see all the garden from above. There is also like a little pond and there are the orange species. Maybe that's those Kai carps. I'm not sure. It's really amazing because the tree is like alive. It's not the whole tree, it was cut it I guess. But still it makes pretty nice environment for all those gardens, butterflies, species, uh, another kind of species of butterflies. Here you can see it's always the Latin title and the German title here are some kind of stones I don't know if I can take it as a souvenir or if it's a food I guess it's like a food it's like a candy because butterflies are kind of like bees and what they are eating is the nectar from the flowers and like that but in this garden I cannot see many like glowing flowers so the people who take care of them needs to provide them sugar. There was mention on those signs that you are not allowed to touch the butterflies. But butterflies are totally free to touch you. Is it fair? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> they are feeding them with, uh, with candies, apples, bananas. They even have some flowers growing flowers so they can have actually natural nectar right in some of those blossoms there is a huge feast they are having a feast you can see he's just touching with his tongue or leg I don't know what's that actually and maybe they and maybe after his arm or like whatever it is is surrounded with the sugars they will just lick it here is some kind of cave let's explore what's inside nothing is inside but in the end there is an aquarium there are little fishes here is the phase when the caterpillar is going to become a butterfly they are going to become this little sock and then the butterfly is born like all those butterflies here are brought from south america and southern asia 
like they are brought here in those cocoons then they are glued on those sticks when I was showing earlier and after that they will become butterflies so that's how they do that here and here we are out of the gardens anymore in the center of Vienna again and there is this attraction which I really don't like but I'm going to show it like for tourists or for people is these horses with the cart you can get a ride but I'm really not a fan of that like it's not a natural habitat for horses they are just standing there whole day I'm not sure if they are having fed properly if they are having some water in these days it's like an animal abuse before there were no cars of course but nowadays it's a big no for me look how happy she is right now such a little thing and it can make her day thing which is really common and you will spot it very often here in Vienna are those fountains it's really behind every corner but it looks really nice it would be more interesting if the water is coming in between their legs and not from the mouth but <laughs> it's still fine and because we decided we want to stay here overnight in Vienna we picked this hotel XC Vienna right now we have our check-in so we will check our room our accommodation and it was pretty good idea that I left my car outside of the Vienna in that parking spot because right now this hotel was actually affording the parking spots but right now we arrived one of our friend he came here to the city by car and the hotel service told us no parking available and there is another parking available like 700 meters away and then you have to pay 22 euros per night in comparison i just paid four euros per night so it's much less right now we received a card with our room the number is 302 but in this hotel you can see one, two, second floor, third floor is missing, fourth floor, fifth floor, sixth floor. So we got a room which doesn't exist. We are a bit confused. Gwen is saying it's here. Third floor is there. <laughs> so I guess we found it. It's insane. <laughs> Austria made us confused. We are going for a dinner and here's Jacob walking like an Australian with his beer <laughs> it's unnecessary for now we are actually out of hotel looking for some dinner here we are in the area of Vienna which is surrounded by Greek people Turkish people and with that it's adapted the stores here like the restaurants all the cuisine here is like Greek Turkish like that kebab tea things like that here we are in like a it's like a public store i would say you're all surrounded by the stores where people are selling vegetables souvenirs foods everything yeah it's like a street market it's amazing i like this kind of vibe it's it reminds me the philippines as well Thank you. Oh gosh. <laughs> I just got my pizza as well. Luan <laughs> was saying the pizza is bigger than her. So let's see if she is going to finish all of that. We are done with our dinner, going back to the hotel. And I'm going to show you the area inside the hotel, how it looks like, what everything is included. So let's check that out. And right now we are here in our room, hotel room. So after that the entrance is provided with this card. You have to unlock the door with the card and then insert it here. So the electricity, AC, everything will start working. Right here on the left there is like a little bathroom with everything you need. Oh my god, you coming home with me. <laughs> It's like check thing, really check thing. When we check our in hotel, you mustn't forget to take the towels, tissues, batteries from the controller, everything. 
here is the little bath to like more than enough for just one day stay like hair dryer some hand soaps everything and here is the main part the bedroom Gwen is already here like we've already came here before to put our things so it's not our first impression so just really quickly wardrobes bed Wendy here is actually a huge window with a view actually there is included a balcony the trends on the balcony is quite sketchy but I was there as well and here is the television with this cabinet underneath and right here there is hiding that fridge with super duper expensive drinks <laughs> just like it's always in hotels so that was like a really quick room tour and we can move on this time we already changed our clothes and we are heading downstairs because there is a pool and the gym together right here is the entrance to the it's like very little gym there is just a couple of dumbbells a bench and then the treadmills and bicycle so it's really not that huge but like it's enough for just little exercise but right here there is a pool like it's pretty amazing with the blue lights right now we are heading back to our room after swimming and going to end this day you serious